What's up guys, my name is Mike, this is All Things Fish, and thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are doing well, and uh, if you've watched some of the previous content that I've released, we've been talking a lot about feeding live foods to our fish for various benefits such as additional nutrition and to trigger those instinctive natural feeding behaviors. One such live food that I talked about was vinegar eels. Uh, as you can see here in this uh, mad science project of a mess. Now, I received a starter culture of vinegar eels from Paul Pier at Fish Guy's Place. Link down below. Feel free to check him out for all kinds of information and uh, some excellent cultures to get all your live foods going. Now, vinegar eels are one of the simplest cultures to set up and out of all the cultures that I've ever kept, probably the easiest to maintain. I've let these things go for months at a time with zero attention and had zero problems. They were ready to feed. So I split the culture while, before I fed it and started feeding all my fish while some cultures kept going. So today I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and very easily set up your very own vinegar eel culture for live foods for your fish. Now, to start with, you'll need a container. Now, my choice is a empty and clean beverage container, and you'll find out in a little bit here down the road. A little bit of apple. As you can see, this is sliced and peeled. We'll talk about that in a minute. Some cider vinegar. A splash of water. And then you'll need a starter culture, such as this little two ounce culture. They like said, I got this from Paul over at Fish Guy's Place. You can get it for maybe five or six bucks, including shipping. So it's quite the steal to get you going on an endless supply of live food for damn near free. So who would want to do that, right? So let's get started. First, we need our container. Like I said, I chose an empty and clean beverage container, such as this. A lot of people use larger jugs, uh, but in a video down the road, once we start feeding these guys, you'll find out why. So ideally, we'll have about a 50-50 mix of our cider vinegar and some water. Now this is our water simply because I had it on hand and it was clean. However, tap water when it's dechlorinated would be just fine. So we're gonna get about a 50-50 mix. We're gonna fill her up a little bit. And then we'll match it with some cider vinegar. Now, roughly 50-50 is just fine. This isn't an exact science, and like I said, vinegar eels are very, very forgiving when you're setting these cultures up and keeping them running. So we'll roughly match our water with some cider vinegar, like so. Make sure to leave room for your culture because your little starter culture's gotta fit in there too. And then we're going to use some freshly sliced apples. The apple provides a source of sugar, which uh, kind of acts as a fuel during this whole process while your culture is running. Now you'll notice that it is skinned. This is just to avoid any pesticides that may be resistant jewel on the outside of the apple. Simply slide that in there. Just a couple slices will do, like so. Now it's time to add our culture. Now, I'm a little bit behind on this video, so you'll see that I've already opened this culture, and I actually received this culture, oh, about two, two and a half weeks ago now, and this is a test to the quality of the cultures from Paul, as well as the resiliency of these vinegar eels. I've done nothing to this, other than cut a hole in the bag so there's some fresh air moving in and out absolutely nothing and uh, you can't see it but there's definitely a lot of vinegar eels running around in there then we'll just add this to our container now you may use a glass jug a plastic container they work just fine I prefer glass myself and uh, you don't necessarily have to use a beverage bottle such as this simply my choice get a little swish she'll mix around in there eventually just fine and then you'll top it off some people use cheesecloth some people use a little bit of filter floss, and that is to allow for a gas exchange in and out of your culture container while keeping any nuisance pests like flies or bugs out of there. So, our culture set up, that's it. It's ready to go. As far as maintaining this thing, I'll update you with some videos down the road, but maintenance really is just letting it do its thing. And you'll be able to hold it up to a light source and see your vinegar reels in there cruising around 
and you'll see them begin to populate a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and in a few short weeks, uh, you'll have a very healthy culture that's ready to split and ready to feed your fish. Now, you wouldn't be setting this culture up if you didn't plan on feeding some fish some delicious vinegar eels as a live food, which is a great source of food for your small fry if you happen to be breeding fish. A little bit bigger fish will enjoy it as well, but vinegar eels stay quite tiny, being a very small nematode. So if you're looking for a live food culture for something a little bit bigger, I'd look at something such as red wigglers or some white worms, and then moving further up, some earthworms. But that's not what this video is about, food culture and vinegar eels. So I'm gonna set this in a warmish place, and I'll prefer to keep it out of any natural light just to avoid uh, potential contaminants, right? You don't want any algae or anything growing in there. You just want this to be pure vinegar eels. And in a few short weeks, you'll have an excellent culture ready to go. If you have any questions, I'd strongly encourage you to check out Paul Pierce over at Fish Guy's Place. He has a ton of information, including step-by-step -step details on how to set up your own vinegar culture. Feel free to email him, ask him questions. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me, mike.allthingsfish at gmail.com, or drop them down in the comments below, and I'll happily help you out. Hopefully this helps you get going down the right path. And in a couple weeks here, I'll update you and show you exactly why I choose this container for my vinegar eel cultures. But that's all for now. Until next time, this has been Mike at All Things Fish, and we'll see you later.